Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, President Trump just urged every American to start praying now. As the Democrats continue to play a disgusting con game in their efforts to destroy an innocent man and his family, President Donald Trump has suggested people do what the left in this country despises most of all. In an effort to once again defend his nominee for the United States Supreme Court, the president has taken to Twitter to suggest that people do what's inexcusable in the liberal playbook. To actually pray for Brett Kavanaugh and his family at this time when the left is showing more than ever what their true colors really are. Pray for Brett Kavanaugh and his family. Trump wrote on Twitter, denouncing Democrats for trying to destroy Kavanaugh. As reported on the Gateway Pundit the following is a transcript by Pool reporter Nancy Cook with Politico of a recent question and answer session with the president. He said the following. I think he is just a wonderful human being. I think it is horrible what the Democrats have done. It is a con game, they are really con artists. They are trying to convince they don't bite, they don't believe it themselves they know he is a high quality person, they don't believe it, it is just resist and obstruct. They are playing a con game, and they are playing it very well much better than Republicans. They are lousy politicians, they have lousy policy, they don't know what the hell they are doing. They want to get rid of ICE, they want to get rid of law enforcement, they don't want to take care of our military, they want to raise your taxes, but they are good at one thing. That is obstruction and con, Trump's voice starts to sound angry here. He is one of the highest quality people. He said when he was focused on being number one in his class at Yale, to me, that was so believable. I understand college very well, being number one in your class, I understand a lot of things. When he said that, I understood exactly. He was so truthful. But for the Democrats to be trying to make him into something let's be nice about it, something he is not. This isn't his footing, he's never been here before. He's never had any charges like this, charges come up from 36 years ago that are totally unsubstantiated. I mean, you, as a president of a great country, Colombia. I mean how is this possible 36 years ago? And now a new charge comes up and she says it may not be him and there are gaps. And she was totally inebriated and all messed up, and she doesn't know. It might have been him, or it might have been him. Gee, let's not make him a Supreme Court judge. This is a con game being played by the Democrats. These are the same lawyers who have been fighting for years. It is a shame you can do this to a person's life. I'll tell you, maybe even more important. Who is going to want to go before the system to be a Supreme Court judge or even a politician? I can tell you that false accusations of all type are made against a lot of people. This is a high quality person, and it would be a horrible insult to our country if this doesn't happen. And it'll be a horrible, horrible thing for future political people. It cannot be allowed to happen. And the Democrats are playing a con game, C O N. Q. Should the second accuser be allowed to testify? Trump, the second accuser doesn't even know. She thinks maybe it could have been him, maybe not. Admits she was drunk. She admits time lapses, this is a person, and this is a series of statements that is going to take one of the most talented intellects from a judicial standpoint in our country keep him off the U.S. Supreme Court? He has the chance to be one of the greatest justices in the United States Supreme Court. What a shame. His wife is devastated, his children are devastated. I don't mean, oh gee, I am a little unhappy. They are devastated and it is because of these Democrats. If there is one thing this whole Kavanaugh saga has taught us it is that the left has no scruples whatsoever and let us hope and pray their own side sees this. And let's also hope that out of this comes a renewed vigor by the right to go out and vote since we know all too well the right tends to get complacent and forget to vote on election day. This upcoming midterm election is perhaps the most important of our lifetimes. And we just can't hand over this great nation to the mob rule mentality the left in this nation is starting to display. Don't you agree? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.